in my qualitative methods courses, I often try to get students to think about ethical issues that sort of are beyond what I think we can really have folks think about in terms of IRB. Yeah. Um, and I was wondering if you could give us an example of a time where you had to grapple with an ethical issue and sort of what you did. Um, well, there have been times that I've worked with teachers um, uh, whose teaching I didn't agree with. Um, lately, I've been blessed by being able to work again with teachers who I really feel very much uh, supportive of and and they realize that I appreciate their teaching and so but but um, um, some of the dilemmas that I've had had to do with sort of censoring myself not being able to be candid with teachers uh, when they were doing something that I disagreed with and over the years my relationship with the people that I studied shifted more and more in the direction of participatory action research or collaborative action research and I have a piece you probably know a, a chapter called studying side by side where I told about kind of that evolution in my work and I found that I was able to be much more candid with people, even when there were disagreements, um, if the kind of contract we had was that we were going to work together on, you know, trying to make instruction better or sense of what's going something on. <laughs> about getting along with students uh, more easily and so on. And when, when that was a joint project, um, I was then able to stop censoring uh, my my opinions. I, early on, I, I bent over backwards, you know, in interviewing teachers and other people I was studying, so, I, so as not to put words in their mouth or cue them about, you know, what was the desired opinion that they ought to express. And I, and I so bent over backwards that sometimes they thought these interviewers were you know, a little we weird, and I had something up my sleeve that I wasn't telling. Um, so as I got into this more participatory, kind of collaborative uh, uh, research relationship, um, those issues, uh, I mean, they never completely go away, but they were a whole lot less complicated uh, because we could be more direct with each other. Um, so that that's one example. Uh, one other. Once I was contacted by Newsweek when I, when I was at Harvard, and, and I didn't have tenure, and I'd been doing these studies of um, interethnic and interracial academic advising interviews, and uh, Newsweek found out about it. They sent a reporter to Boston and, and wrote up a really good story for their behavioral science feature, which they used to have in every issue. And um, they also sent a photographer, and he had like 10 rolls of 36 exposure um, uh, uh, still film uh, that he shot. Uh, in our research lab office, um, but I said you can't use the images from the vi the cinema footage. It was um, that we've got because I told people we wouldn't uh, we would we would show uh, some of this at. Uh, academic meetings, but not in kind of the public media, um, and and so um, the guy shot 360 pictures and went back to um, New York, and the editor uh, said, uh, "No, you got to have those pa the faces of these people that are being interviewed," and called me. And, and we had this conversation, 
and, and it was a real kind of Faustian bargain offer. Uh, it was very tempting, but I said, I'm sorry. Uh, and the editor said, well, if we can't have those pictures, we won't run the story. Uh, and I said, no, well, I'm sorry. I guess you can't run the story because I won't violate the, this understanding. Right. Uh, and I, I've, I've not had trouble with the video and the film work. Uh, that some people worry about mm -hmm. troubles uh, coming from that. Uh, I have not had trouble with it, but it's because I've been very, very careful mm -hmm. about those kinds of agreements right. and letting people know who will see the footage under what mm -hmm. kinds of circumstances. I love that example because I think it gets at sort of ethical commitments that you have with individuals that are far beyond IRB because yeah. that was before IRB stuff. Yeah. It was really about the agreement you made with people right. with whom you were working. Right. And that's, that's what's really important. Right.